Hello everyone, it's Grampy Rick again. I'm here on a downloaded version of the very first world we started with on Monkey Farm's Patreon server. Um, I asked Monkey Farm, we've, we've long since moved on from here, nobody's playing on this world anymore, but Monkey Farm gave me a download because I wanted to save this project that I did here. This is my castle, I called it Chateau de Grampy. <clears throat> and uh, I wanted to keep it, and I wanted to keep working on it mostly because I'm not I'm far from done. The, the castle itself is done, but I want to do the exterior now and do some stuff. Um, but anyway, so I asked Monkey if he would give me a download, and he did. So thank you very much, Monkey Farm. So I did a little showcase of this thing um, and posted it, but <clears throat> it was so hard to get a look at this thing when you're running around like an idiot in you know survival mode so the best thing about having this as a download in uh, a single player is that I can do this <laughs> and so I want to do a little more detailed uh, showcase of this thing so that I can fly now and show you some of the detail the first thing I want to show you it's pretty cool <laughs> first thing I want to show you though is <clears throat> that this is a model or a replica of a castle that was built on world of, the uh, world of Corallus world of Corallus creative server I'm sure you've heard of Corallus he's a legendary youtuber he administers a creative build server that a bunch of unbelievably talented people build on anyway a guy named Paul V Montfort built this thing on Corallus's server and he called it uh, Chateau Strasbourg so you can go there uh, and see it, or you can YouTube search search YouTube for uh, Chateau Strasbourg and probably find it. I think uh, Corrales did a uh, showcase of it on his inspiration series. So anyway, here's the castle. I want to do a little flyby just to show you some more of the details. So uh, let's start with this side since we're already here. This is actually my favorite view from the exterior, mostly because it has all these different depth angles that add to the visual appeal. Um, it has these round turret towers with their you know wizard hat roofs that are so cool. <laughs> Um, I built these banners. I think that added a lot <clears throat> to it. Um, anyway, these turret towers are hard to build. They're a kind of a art all unto themselves. You can see the pattern and the style, but building them in survival is just a, really hard. <laughs> Because <laughs> you're, you know, the problem is you can't fly back and get a perspective of what you're doing. You're right here, you're jumping and placing blocks. You're kind of built, you can build, you know, temporary scaffolding to back up a little bit. You can't fly back and get a perspective on what you're doing. It just makes it hard. But <clears throat> anyway, I did build this entire castle in survival. I gathered all of the resources to build it in survival. Um, it was a it, this was like I said the most ambitious thing I've ever tried to do in Minecraft um, kind of wore me out a little bit but um, anyway let's take a look um, I learned so much about how to build in Minecraft from doing this uh, from Paul you know trying to replicate Paul's style you know the detail is just everywhere um, you know in my weak building skills I would just build a wall punch a hole in it and call it a window but you know every window in this thing has all these block combinations and features and detail that just add so much interest to this thing so um, all of the windows are like that um, as you can see so let's just fly by a little bit um, the roof is all stone brick except where two roof lines come together and meet you can see one of the cool features is that wherever roof lines come together it replaced the stone brick with cobblestone and that just adds a little I don't know shadow effect or a little interesting touch <laughs> you probably you know you might not even notice that but um, 
it just adds a little professional touch that Paul Monfort did. It's got these buttress, castle style buttress things that are built in here. I think that sticking out from that corner just looks really cool. Uh, flying around further this way, you can see this side. This whole wing here that goes back is um, where I built the castle chapel. Yeah. <clears throat> that cross kind of gives it away. Paul used that for something different. I think it's the throne room in his castle, but I used it for the chapel. So there you have it. Uh, that little ugly thing right down there is where I have beacons. I had beacons on all four corners. I turned them off uh, for for my in creative now because I don't need it and I don't like the way they look. So coming around to the back, you can see the right away there's this cool balcony with this really neat pattern in the floor. A lot of uh, pathways and walkways use a randomized block pattern. I use that myself a lot. It looks really cool, but for this castle with all the consistent design patterns, I think this is a good choice to have a, a very, you know, um, disciplined pattern for the floor that uses brick and cobble and smooth stone, etc. Um, this balcony, you can see, I'm trying to get different angles of it, but um, it uses a, a castle style, you know, whatever that's called, I don't even know what it's called, um, with all the details, you can see the details, more windows, this is the library, love this library, we'll see that on the interior, I'm going to do probably two more videos of the interior, because it's going to take probably two to show you all that. Here's another one of those turrets. It's the biggest one with a gigantic roof. And then on this side of the castle, you can see it starts using this uh, Tudor style uh, wood and white wool that blends in really nicely, I think, with the brick and the sandstone. <clears throat> um, so that's the back. This side over here, I'm trying to not show you the landscaping too much because I want to do that in a Probably at the start of the second video, we'll start there and look at the landscaping. I'm not, I've done two sides. Now. I've done this side and I've done the back. Uh, uh, anyway, here's this side with this buttress or castle thing, castle thingy. I don't know what you call it. I'm not a castle expert. Um, but it just adds a lot of detail. This sandstone and red brick combination is just really nice I think I've seen a lot more the first this was the first big build I ever saw that used it and uh, just really was breathtaking I thought so you can see the detail of how this is built um, just up here is a little walkway with um, uh, an entrance actually a spiral staircase I know people hate spiral staircases, but there's a few of them in here. Is there's five levels, five floors to this castle. Every inch of it is furnished. And uh, there's some other stairwell styles, but um, spiral staircases are the most efficient use of space. Anyway, here, <coughs> here we are at the front. Oh, there's one more of these little turret towers. You can see the roof right here, but it's built right in. You know, it just kind of blends into the walls and the roof blends into the other roofs, which made it really challenging to build. But I thought that was really cool how that just blends right into the castle. Uh, neat design. Anyway, here's the front. Uh, my nether portal to get here was right here. And... Uh, so this is the view you got when you first came through the portal. Walk across this bridge. This bridge, my original intent is to carry this bridge across, and maybe turn and go over here to something, build something out here that it goes to, but I don't, I don't know what to build yet, so still trying to figure that out. Anyway, you come in through the main entrance. Uh, it is a public castle like most of the European castles are now. You can take a tour 
tours begin at 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. The resource pack I'm using is Sortex Fanver. I think it looks really nice in, in a lot of modern style builds, but it also looks really good with, these, with this block combination, I think. Um, so that's what I'm using. This is the coffee shop. You come in, you can go to the coffee shop. <coughs> this logo was built by a player that plays on Monkey Farm's Patreon server with us named Erlon Hart. And um, you can see the Witherbean Coffee Shop. <laughs> she had a uh, portrait studio that she made, that a gigantic palette that she could lay down uh, different colored carpets and create a design, an enormous design. I don't know how big, probably, maybe it was like four chunks uh, on each side, and then uh, use the map and create a map of that palette that looks, you know, just like a picture. Anyway, she built this for me. It was really cool. Thank you, Erlon. <clears throat> we get to the final feature of the exterior. Here's where the gatekeeper lives in this area, but here's the final feature I want to show you on this video. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. It's the courtyard, and it's pretty interesting, <laughs> I think. It's maybe the coolest feature of the exterior is this courtyard. Um, I built a fountain here. Paul Montfort did not have a fountain in his, but <clears throat> I thought it added just a really nice touch to this courtyard area. So anyway, guys, that's just about it. Um, it has these cafe tables for the coffee shop. It has the entrances to the castle. There are three of them. The servants' quarters here. Over here is the Grampy's house, or the master's quarters. <laughs> and then here's where the tours start, the main entrance. So we'll get started with that in the next video. Here's the sign that Monkey Farm left for me when he saw the courtyard. Love that sign. <laughs> So anyway, thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time and we'll start taking a look at the interior of this thing.